Construction has afforded me the life to be able to support a family. I've traveled from California to Florida and about everywhere in between. I've always had work. Ever since 1997, I've, I've never been out of work and I can attribute that to construction and it's a competitive field. If you perform and you do good, there's always work. We make a mistake in this country by believing that everyone has to go to college. Not every job in this country, not every way to make a good living is, is predicated on going to college. Succeeding in this country and making a good living is really predicated on preparing young people for their lives and their careers. We send a lot of kids to four-year college, which is great, and there's skills you can obtain and jobs you can get, but there's a lot of jobs in industry that pay very well, that require a really high level of knowledge and skill, and it's just a whole other path of opportunity. I think it's really important that we offer both in our high schools so that you know, if I'm a kid that needs to go down this path, I can go this way and I can also be prepared and go, you know, down a skills and trade path if that's what really works for me. If I was to tell someone coming out of high school to get in a trade, I would say do it. Just based on the way you can go through the program, get your certificate of the craft you get into, and your wages start out very competitive. I, I feel the best craft workers are the guys that are willing to work hard, that are competitive, that like being outside and want to do more than just sitting behind a desk. I myself would be happy for my own child to be working in an environment that I do. You know, I work with intelligent people, I work with people that work very hard. They work hard for the pay and benefits they get to take care of their family. And I think that's what most of us want is, you know, we want to feel good after we leave work every day. We want to feel like we're needed and valued at work, that I have a skill also that's transferable so I can always stay employed. The reason to, to come into the business is just the reward of getting the job done. I mean, a lot of people go in, have good jobs. At the end of the day, they go home. They really don't know what they did that day. What's really neat about construction is you go out and you work hard. You're working with some, some high quality people that are working hard, that know what they're doing. And, and at the end of the day, every day, you can turn around and you can look at what you did. And there's very few jobs in the world that can be, give you that instant satisfaction reward. The days of being able to come right out of high school and get a good paying job, that, that's the way it was when, when I was leaving high school. Now just leaving high school and going and getting a job in a, in a chemical plant or refinery just, just isn't possible. You've got to get some advanced skill. You, you have a choice of going to college or going to, to a trade school or being in some sort of a, apprenticeship program you need to have some some sort of advanced training beyond a high school diploma. Plants are heavily into fabrication equipment that, that constantly have uh, hundreds of openings at any given time. One of the industries that builds oil rigs has a thousand openings for, for welders right now. Just this project alone right now, the Performing Arts in Orlando, we have about 140 guys, all crafts combined, working and there's roughly probably only 10 people right now under the age of 25 working on this project. The demand for younger people, for laborers, for first year apprentices, for any trade is in real high demand right now in construction just based on there's a large generation, a population group leaving the industry right now. A lot of the jobs that we have, instrument mechanics, rotating machinery people, they're, they're really using uh, computer equipment. The days of the old pneumatic valves are long gone. We're using electronics, smart transmitters. You know, a lot of these people are, are really computer technicians. Anything that's submitted through the engineers now, it's mostly done through an iPad. So guys in the field actually carry around iPads and put in their problems and take pictures and send it in. You know, career and technical education has uh, gotten a bad rap over the last 15 or 20 years from a lot of adults who for some reason look down their nose on people that work with their hands. A lot of foreign countries, Germany and some of the countries in Europe, actually treat craftsmen with as much respect as they do a PhD. Career and technical education is the basis for what builds America, it's what keeps America running. You have to have those skills and it needs to start with the high schools with career and technical education. I think a crash professional needs uh, uh, the same work ethic and the same type of skills 
that uh, someone working on Wall Street would need or someone working in the corner office. They need to be dependable, they need to have a strong work ethic, need to do more than their share, uh, and the ones that do that will, will move to the top of the, of the ranks. Once they go through the, the crafts, they can work their way through college if they would like to do that with their skills. Uh, so it's not a dead-end road if that's what some people might think. Qualities that we look for in a craft professional all happen to begin with A, and there are four of those. The first is attitude. We're looking for positive can-do attitudes. The second is aptitude, which is the willingness to continue to learn throughout their career. The third is adaptability, which is the flexibility to change with the environment day to day, whether that's working with new team members, working in physically different environments throughout the construction industry. And then fourth, we're looking for the ability to perform the task and the career of their choice. But in our organization, if they have a positive can-do attitude, they're adaptable, and they have the aptitude to want to continue to learn, we're willing to invest in their careers. In order to attract and retain craft professionals in our company, we will work with the CTE programs throughout the states by getting engaged with the classrooms, talking with the instructors and the administration about the importance of CTE to our industry. We'll get in front of the students and do hands-on activities with those students, and then we back that up by actually offering employment opportunities uh, to those individuals coming out of those programs. Our company runs a 40-hour boot camp which is a summer program and it begins with 40 hours of hands-on safety and small tool training before they ever enter the project. When I was early in my career I had a bias that you had to be an engineer to become a manager with our company and, and I came from that because that was my background. But I've learned as I've spent time in the maintenance and construction industries that far more important than that is the passion that you have for doing your work. So there are so many career opportunities and very good career opportunities for young crafts to work their way through if they come in with the right attitude. Not everyone is cut out for going into university or college. Go through, get your craft certification. You will be successful if you give it your all. I would encourage parents, administration, teachers to allow students to pursue their passion and not dictate what their, what their careers should be. They should engage um, and, and provide opportunities for students to have exposure to all careers. And for those that want to pursue careers in construction, those that want to pursue skilled trades, they should be encouraged and supported and challenged to continue with lifelong learning because it does not end after high school and it is, it is desperately needed in this country. And so for those students out there that have that passion, I would encourage you to follow your dreams. And for those parents and instructors and administration, I challenge you to support those individuals in their dreams.